Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill John. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Uh, it's been a while, but we're back. We uh, have an interesting challenge today, figuring out how to sum the non-NA values. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have a, a little lookup table over here and then some VLOOKUPs. Now, of course, the problem with VLOOKUPs is they might return an NA error. Now, the challenge today, sent in my reader, is how are we going to add up those cells, but we want to see the NA. You know, my initial reaction is, oh, well, let's just get rid of the NA with equal if error and say uh, there's an error from out there that we put a zero and copy that down. Uh, and that solves the whole problem because then the sum of those is going to be the sum. But the person said, no, 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 I need to see the NA. I need to know that those are missing. So we're going to control Z to undo and we have to come up with a formula that's going to ignore the NAs. All right, so here's my approach. We'll see what Mike comes up with. I bet he's going to have something much more complicated. Equal sum if. Sum if says, hey, let's go look through this range of values. And then the criteria is going to be, I'm going to put this in quotes, in quotes, greater than zero. All right, now an assumption here, these are salaries. We're not paying anyone a negative amount of money. If we were paying them a negative amount of money, then we're going to have to use one of Mike's methods, I think. Uh, we don't have to put the sum range because the sum range and the uh, the original range are the exact same thing. So you see the sum range there is optional. It's in square brackets. And so we just finish this off and we get 289,777. Now let's do a little test here. Uh, we'll add a brand new row for Omar. Shift cells down. Omar and uh, we'll make Omar be 50,000. There we go. Omar shows up here and the total works. So I think that will do it. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've done some duels. Nice to be dueling again. Hey, uh, I don't have a camera today. I got the new operating system, Windows 7, 64 bit. Totally fast. I love it, but my camera's not working with it. So I have to do it without a camera. Hey, uh, sum if greater than zero is that not beautiful efficient works in all versions I might as well show you a new function since I'll use in Excel 2010 here a new function called aggregate Now I'm gonna have to scroll down here so you can see this amazing drop down similar to subtotal but it does a bunch more 11 right there those are the same 11 as subtotal and then there's a bunch bunch of new ones some amazing things you can do here but look at this we have uh, number nine is sum. So I'm just going to put nine, comma, and then this is the great new argument. Look at this. You have all these options. The one we're interested in today is ignore error values. So I put a, a nine, comma, six, comma, and then highlight the range. Now, after a while, if you get used to it and you're summing, doing this kind of formula, just type it out real quick and escape escape I hit the plus sign there uh, and boom we have our uh, total ignoring errors and it will ignore whatever error you have there all right throw it back over to Mr. Excel hey all right Mike aggregate wow that is a cool way to go I love the feature that they can exclude error cells all kinds of great new items there uh, hey I want to thank everyone for uh, tuning in sure to check back next week for another Dueling Excel podcast. And hey, just a quick plug here, uh, Mike's new book, Slaying Excel Dragons, uh, will be out in October. You can pre-order it now at Amazon. And of course, my book, Excel 2010 In-Depth, uh, out at Amazon or MrExcel.com. Thanks for stopping by.